Hi, my name's Nat. I'm a wildlife carer. I live on a 50 acre property in Pelvarata in southern Tasmania. I've been doing wildlife caring for nearly 10 years now. As a kid, I always wanted to be a veterinarian. Um, so I've always had that love of animals and being able to do that, uh, do the wildlife caring, um, you know, you get a lot of rewards yourself, you know, they, they give you a lot of love back. So in here we have a little patty melon. She's about six months old and she's going to have her bottle in a minute, but I just have to toilet her first. To be a wildlife carer, you need to uh, go and do a wildlife carer's course, um, which is usually held over a two or three days. I run an organisation called Tasmanian Animal Rescue, Rehabilitation and Education Services. We run educational courses and we, we actually tailor them to suit the needs of whoever needs them done. This is Richard. Richard came to us a couple of years ago uh, with some retained shed on his eye. Uh, and unfortunately had to have his eye removed. His recovery took a little bit long and he was not able to be released into the wild. So he's stayed with us now. He's a lovely, placid little boy. They're not all like this. Um, but this one's a very quiet, beautiful tiger snake. I think some of the most um, upsetting things are when you've spent a lot of time Raising an animal, uh, you might have even uh, spent, you know, a, a year or more raising an animal and then something happens to it. So this little joey just came in. It was found last night by a member of the public. So he's only just got fur just starting to come through. I can't see any obvious injuries on him but he does look a little bit dehydrated, so he's gonna need some subcutaneous fluids. So I've been with the ambulance service around 24 years, I think, um, in different roles as a volunteer, as an ambulance officer, and as an intensive care paramedic and branch station officer. While I'm not trained specifically in, in animals, as as a vet, um, I can still manage to do some of the smaller stuff and then we take them to a vet for anything that we can't do here that requires veterinary attention. He's a brave little boy. So, just gonna give her her bottle now, but we only just bring her little head out and cover up her eyes with just a little nose and mouth out. We want them to not be too humanised. Ebony, long time. So I have to get up uh, every three hours for this little one. Right around the clock, so during the night as well, just like a human baby. It's a great feeling when you're able to release an animal back into the wild, when it's successfully rehabilitated um, and is able to survive and reproduce out in the wild. It, it just feels, yeah, feels great to know that you've done your job properly.